Hello, fellow diamond painting addicts, and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne, and I'm here today with an unboxing. I am finished up with a couple of projects, and I'm feeling good enough that I'm going to open another kit. I have been working on mostly squares, so while I work on those and work my way through them, because they're all kind of large, I decided I would reward myself with another round. I finished my Diamond Dot Seahorses, and I had so much fun doing those, and it's just such a brain break for me to go from doing squares to rounds, that I went hunting through my stash and found a kit from Craftably, because as you can see, it's in their one of their tubes, and it is a round, and it's one that will be good for my artist series. So, what I have today is Moonbeam. And it's this very pretty, I actually thought it was a mermaid kit when I bought it, but I just absolutely love the colors in it. And it's a craftably, so it's gonna have good drills and it's a round and so yeah. So they don't use their tubes anymore, but I really love these. I've actually found a use for these in our move. We've got quite a few things, posters and other things that are not in frames. And so I'm able to roll them up and put them in these cases and keep them nice and safe for when we move. So I'm hanging on to all of mine. I have three, I think, including this one. All right, so let me get this out of the plastic and I will be right back. All right, so here we go. Now this one is a landscape one. It's not a portrait one, but, and I actually, this is one, I think I bought this one when they were having their sale or maybe it was before that, I don't remember. But I actually forgot to write down whether or not it was a round or a square. And so I had to go searching on the internet because it's not for sale on Craftably's site anymore. It has been discontinued, so I had to go find out if it was a round or a square kit. I could have just opened it, but I like to open it with you guys so you guys kind of get my first impressions. Maybe that's not important since it's not available anymore, but anyway. All right, I'm gonna let the canvas relax and we'll dig into everything else. All right, so we've got information about the kit, accessory ideas, how to diamond paint. I don't need that. We've got our lovely bag o drills with our sticker. Look at all those pretty colors and there's ABs in there. So here is our sticker sheet. So you can see here we've got a sticker with the image again so that you can put it in your logbook, which I will be doing. And then we've got all of our symbols here with our DMC codes. And it has 61 colors. Now the LZs, I believe, are their codes that they use for the crystal rhinestones. So there's two of those and then six ABs in addition to that. So eight kind of AB slash special drills and or rhinestones and then all of the other regular colors. I just really love this image. I love the big red butterfly, the pink owl, all the roses. I love the color of her hair. So really excited to kind of dig into this one. It is 30 by 20 inches. So it is kind of big, but that's okay. I'm looking for something to give myself a bit of a break in between working on squares. So if I finish the square kit, I can work a bit on this one go finish another square kit, come back, work some more on this, and I'll continue to do that until I get it finished. Or if I really love it, I'll just keep working on this one until it's done. Who knows? No guarantees. All right, let me go grab the canvas. Once again, it is gonna be too large for me to get everything on my table, but I will also take some B-roll so you guys can kind of see what's what on the canvas itself. Don't go anywhere. And here is our kit. I actually really love Craftably. I'm so glad that they have managed to stay in business. They had sometime, I think last year, had a big sale. They were afraid they were gonna have to go out of business. They're still kicking and highly recommend them to anyone. I really like their kits. I love their drills. I've done a couple of theirs. The biggest one I think I've done is a Bird Woman by Elena Lazareva, and I really just absolutely loved that kit. Highly recommend if you haven't tried them out. I will stick a link down to their website. I can't link to this particular kit because like I said, it's not available anymore, but check out their website. They have lots of good stuff. 
All right, so we've got our schematic on both sides, 61 colors again, and we've got our DMC code, so that's awesome. And no issues with their cover sheet. Their cover sheet is nice and thick too, thicker than you get, you get with other places. So we've got down here in the bottom corner, we've got the little uh, thumbnail moonbeam, the artist name Melanie Stimmel, or Mel, yeah, Stimmel. And then down in the other corner, they've got all of their information about uh, their social media and how to share if you have social media, uh, hashtag craftably. I just, I just really love their kits. And it looks like there's gonna be a nice mix of color blocking and confetti. So lots of confetti down here in the roses and everything as you would expect, because there's gonna be a lot of shading quite a bit of confetti in her skin and her hair, but it looks like there's gonna be some nice multi-placing in the background, kind of the night sky, so happy about that. Oh, I did, I was trying to think of what other craft please I did. I did the bird woman one, I did a koala one, and then I did that puppy purse one that I did while I was up in Canada, um, is all from them. And just, yeah, just love their stuff. Canvas is nice and sticky, no worries there. Poured glue, soft lint, scalloped around the edges, love it. All these, all it said was, what did it say, 30 by 20 inches? No centimeters, so let's, and I don't, I never keep in my head long enough. I probably should once we move, I'm gonna need to pay more attention, I guess, but we'll see. Okay, so it's actually a little over 30. It's like 30 and an eighth which is 76 and a half centimeters and then going this way let me get it to part where it's laying flat here it is 50 a little over 51 almost 51 and a half centimeters and what was that 20 inches is that actually 20 inches it's actually a little over 20 as well so actually a little bit bigger than 30 by 20. And I should have written that down because I'll go to put it in my logbook because I keep my logbook in centimeters and I won't know what that is. So I'll have to remeasure it, but that's okay. It's all good. Yeah. Oh, I'm loving the color scheme even more. Just sitting here looking at it with all these kind of pinks and reds and the kind of pale blues of her hair, some teal in the butterfly, the reds in the owl and the big butterfly up there. Just, mm, okay. All right, so let me grab the drills and we will look at those. Well, it's a good thing I was planning on doing this kit because as I was taking it apart, I ripped the drill bag. So, and this sticker is on the outside. So I guess if you have craftably kits, you don't need a way to keep track of which drills go with which kit because they do it for you. So that's nice to know. All right, I think this is my absolute favorite color. I love this kind of cotton candy pink. Can't wait to see what that looks like. Let's see what else we got in here. And I'm gonna save the special drills, the ABs and everything until last because that's fun. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so what else have I got in here? I've got a very pale tan. I've got kind of a mulberry purple, a very, very light tan. Ooh, my favorite red. I've got some slate turquoise some kind of olive green, some darker green. This is like a butterscotch color. We've got some light brown. We've got kind of a, a reddish brown and then kind of a sienna brown, a peach, a darker peach, kind of a salmon color, kind of a very dark salmon color. And then we've got red. That's all the black that is in this, you guys. That's crazy. Must be eyes. I bet that's the eyes of the owl. And then we've got like a mauve, a light purple, a very kind of dusky pink. Let's see what else we have here. We've got kind of a brick red, another salmon, a red. I can't hold on to all of these. There's another tan, a dark turquoise, kind of a green turquoise. We've got a dark gray, kind of a slate blue. We've got kind of a coral and another slightly brighter coral. We've got some dark blue, 
some very dark, deep red. And then we've got, look at that very pretty pale blue, bet that's in her hair. We've got a brown, a very pale tan. We've got some slate dark blue, some dark gray, some very pale like dove gray. And we've got another kind of mauvey dark purple, a dusky rose a brown, another kind of burnt sienna, and we've got a pink, and then we've got all these shades of like turquoise, there's one, that's more green, and then like a pale green, a hunter green, another kind of dove gray, a purple, two different shades of blue, this one's more like a slate sea blue, and a light blue, and then we have another dark blue. You guys, these, love, love, love the colors. Can't wait to see how they look. I don't have a sleeve to put the drills back in, so I'm just gonna kind of move them off to the side, and then I will be back so we can look at the ABs and the special drills. Don't go anywhere. Okay, I just kind of piled the other drills off to the side. Now I'm paranoid that I'm gonna lose some of them because I don't have the sleeve to put them back in. So I guess I'm gonna to have to get this one up pretty quick so that I won't feel like I'm gonna lose them. Okay, so we've got all of our ABs here and we've got two crystals. So we've got a purple and a pink crystal. So let's see where those go. The pink crystal goes in the butterfly wings here. So that will be nice and pretty. And then we've got our purple, which goes in the wings of this purple butterfly down here. So that will be nice and pretty. And then we've got our six ABs. So we've got white ABs, and those I'm gonna bet are gonna go on the flowers. Yeah, they kind of outlines little highlights on the flowers and also here in her hair. So those will be nice and pretty. Look at all of these pink gorgeous pink ABs. There's like a baby pink and a blush pink ABs. So the baby pinks, I'm going to I'm going to guess these all go on the roses, but this one, yes, all through the roses here. Some on her shoulder there. Some here, but mostly on the roses for this light pink and then this dark pink kind of blush pink is also all through the roses, but is also through the owl here. Highlights on the owl, highlights on this butterfly. Yeah, so that's gonna be super pretty. Then we've got some purple ABs, and these are going to go, yeah, these are the outline of this purple butterfly here. So that's nice and pretty. Then look at this gorgeous kind of teal AB. And this one goes over here in this very pretty teal butterfly and also in this butterfly up here as well. And then our last AB, which is this green, which there isn't very much of, but it's just kind of highlighted here. There's little like highlights on where some of the leaves and things are for uh, the green. So I might go back in and actually add some more of those. There's already five ABs, so I think it's gonna be nice and pretty. I can't really, I can't wait to see what the roses are gonna look like with the ABs as well, but I think it's just gonna be super pretty. You guys, I'm so excited about this one. Super excited because it checks so many boxes for me. It's round, it's gorgeous, it's a craftably, it's one of my artist series. Oh, can't wait. I can't tell you how excited I am <laughs> to do start. Not that I don't enjoy doing square diamond paintings, I do. It's just, I tried to do too many too quickly and I'm feeling the burnout, so yeah, just, Oh, I went back through, someone suggested it, I went back through to pick what's one I want to do. And this has been on my want to do list for quite a while. Lots of other reasons I could have picked other things, but this one won, so this is what I'm gonna do and I'm super excited about it. Again, it's not available anymore, but Craftably does really good stuff. So I will stick the link down below, go check them out, see what they have for sale. Love, love, love their product and want to keep them in business. So check them out. All right. That's it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for sticking around till the end of the video. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. 
hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always guys, thanks so much for watching.